Hi, I'm Mark Zip at Crocker Farm Auction. I'm here to discuss an important example of African-American made pottery that we'll be selling at our October 28th auction. This jug is considered one of Thomas Comeraw's masterpieces. Uh, one of three known decorated in this manner with impressed drape and tassel motif encompassing his maker's mark. Thomas Comeraw was discovered about five years ago to be an African-American potter uh, who was active at the Corlears Hook section of Manhattan, New York during the late 18th and early 19th century. Before that time, um, because of his unusual name, Comero, Comero, sometimes spelled Comero, with an E-A-U on the end instead of an A-W, it was suspected that he was of French descent. But research within the last five years or so by Brant Zip has determined that uh, he was actually an African-American potter. Um, this adds great import to his work. Uh, he's one of the few uh, African-American uh, artisans that we can find during the 18th century that actually owned his own shop. Um, and so Comerol's work uh, is highly collectible. It already was highly collectible before this was determined. But now that this has been determined, um, a certain level of historical significance has been added to, to his work. This example as I said, ranks among his very best pieces. Uh, one of three known with this impressed decoration encompassing the maker's mark. Um, the, the form is highly ovoid. You'll notice this form is almost like a New York State uh, or even Norton-esque form uh, in just how ovoid it is. Most of uh, the Manhattan jugs you'll see from this time period are much narrower. And I'll show you a more typical Comerol jug in a minute. Um, after I discuss this piece's fine points, um, you can see that it also has the mark N York and Corlear's hook as well. And the N in N York is unusual in this piece, as it is reversed. Um, and you can also see uh, below that the mark Corlear's hook, which is the location where he potted. And interestingly enough, on this piece, you can see that. Not only does it have his classic, what they call clamshell design, which is actually an inverted drape and tassel motif on top of a standard drape and tassel motif, um, but it has these interesting impressions on either end of the impress maker's mark, Conrad Stoneware, which you do not see on any of his other work. So this was clearly a special piece. He wanted to elaborate on the decoration a little bit, so he threw these scallop edged impressions in there. Now this mark to be impressed across the front, Comerol stoneware in one continuous line as opposed to in one line over the next line suggests that uh, this piece is actually thrown in this incredibly bulbous form uh, to fit that mark. So this, this piece, this special piece is actually thrown in this shape with that in mind. And to give you an idea of just how fantastic this piece is, I'm going to show you a, a, a typical Comerol jug. You can see here, this is much more typical Comerol clay. It's a little more drab colored. The form is much less bulbous. Um, and we have the mark, it just simply says Comerol is below his impressed drape and tassel design. The blue is much darker, it just doesn't have the punchiness of this piece. And the existence of a few of these really suggests that Comerol was trying to do something special. And we really feel that these were probably pieces that advertised his work. Uh, they may have been re made relatively early on into the uh, use of impressed decoration at his pottery. Um, they may have been used to promote his wear in other shops, possibly in storefronts. Uh, there's various different options, but for whatever reason, the clay used is exceptional. It's that great light gray clay you normally see on pieces made uh, in the 1790s in Manhattan, even though this piece was made just slightly later. Uh, and the blue is exceptional. So not only did he use great, great uh, clay and great cobalt oxide, it's also fired very perfectly. You can see um, there's really not that many blemishes on it that you would typically associate with a lot of Manhattan work from this period. I mean, this piece stands out as one of Thomas Comerol's masterworks. Um, we consider it one of the most important examples of 
early American stoneware to come to auction in quite some time. Uh, his work has actually been displayed at the White House uh, for the new opening of the uh, Museum of African American History uh, in Washington, D.C. Um, and his work has actually also been featured in the Dave Project exhibition at the Shipstone Foundation in Wisconsin. Um, we're very excited to offer a piece of not only great uh, physical beauty, but also great historical significance in our October 28th auction.